Today, we will be fighting a very great enemy. In fact, several enemies. <clears throat> there will be nip slips, hanging threads, runny stockings, loose straps, and more. So, we will be preparing an in case of emergency kit, ice kit, in case of emergency fashion kit. Understood? Turn off, turn off. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro there. And yes, I am a scout. That's where I got my uniform from. Not a girl guide, but a scout. There's a difference. So let's start off with the first item of the ice kit. And this item will probably be your most important piece and the one that you will be using the most. And that is your safety pin. And safety pin is great for basically everything. Um, let's say here I have a skirt and the seam is bursted right here, see, and you wouldn't exactly want your ass crack showing to the whole world. So first, you grab your, you turn your skirt inside out, you grab your safety pin, and then you just Pin the seams closed together so that it won't show the hole. And it'll basically look like this, like that. And when you turn it back out, It should look like this. There's no hole. See? That'll be your temporary fix. There are many other ways of fixing things with a safety pin. Let's say um, the back of your dress keeps falling and your bra strap keeps popping out. You could quickly pin the back of the dress to your bra strap. Uh, Tons and tons of ideas with safety pins. They're definitely a must in your kit. So safety pins, I keep it in a little box, a little pill box. I have some big ones and I have some small ones. You'll mostly be needing the small ones because the big ones are just for really, really bad emergencies. The next item I have is scissors. And these are little mini scissors. These are excellent for basically anything you have some extra thread falling out or you want to cut your bangs in the washroom. Scissors also work in partnership with some of the other items I have in my kit and the next one coming up will be double-sided tape. And here I have it rolled up. And double-sided tape is also a really good friend of yours because it prevents nip slips and if you have some really drapey straps, you could tape it to your shoulder. There's many, many uses to double-sided tape. And how you store it is you roll it in from the sticky side. And because you have a backing on the outside that's smooth, then it won't stick the tape all together and it'll be easy to unroll. And that is what you need your scissors for also to cut the double-sided tape in case of anything. Next item is actually an item that lots of people miss out and here I also keep it in my little pill box and they are little earring backings. It looks like this. Um, I have some metal ones and then I have the regular plasticky cheap ones that you get when you buy like earrings from Claire's I guess. A lot of people don't realize how important this item is but it's happened to me quite a number of times where the earring backing has slipped out and I've lost an entire earring or let's say you have those earrings with the hook on it and it just keeps moving back and forth and falling out of your ear. These ones would be great help to keep everything in place 
And if you ever come across earrings that come with earring backings or extra ones, you could just keep it with you for your ice kit. Next item is really important for girls with really bad shoes, and that is the Band-Aid Anti-Chafing Stick. And this is to prevent blisters. It looks like a mini deodorant case, but what you do is, if your shoes are bothering you in any way, usually at your heel, at the ball of your foot, um, at the side of your toes, you could rub this product on and it actually really works. It's made of hydrogenated vegetable oil and I guess it solidifies and what it does, it, it lubricates your skin to prevent blisters. Another item that is quite important and pretty known amongst everybody is clear nail polish and that is for your run in your tights. and um, if you have a small bottle of clear nail polish, any clear nail polish, um, I usually like to use the old ones when they get all really when they start getting really thick and gloopy, and then I save it up for my ice kit. Next item is for people like me, and that is the Tide to Go stain remover pen. Any stain remover I think would work. I'm not sure which one is the best brand. Tide to Go is pretty good. It takes out most stains but not all stains but I mean if you're wearing a white dress and anything happened to it this would be a great go-to. As long as everything fits into this little pouch you should be okay unless you have those tiny little purses not a wristlet but those really really small ones that you can carry on your shoulder which are not even in right now so and they never will be and they're not even practical. So let's see. Safety pins and earring backings. Larger safety pins. Skizzers. Double sided tape. Anti chafing stick. Clear nail polish. Tide to go. And if you have space, throw in a sewing kit just in case. Because if anything happens, and if you do have the time, just sew everything up and you're good. So that's all you guys need for your ice kit today. Throw in your purse, you definitely will need it eventually. It's always good to be prepared as. All it's got to say. <laughs> okay. Bye.